The Quran has been read and memorized by many in the Islamic religion. It has been said that knowing how to read the Quran and mastering it are completely different experiences. There have been many Quran reciters or Qaris in the world whose mastery of the Quran has granted them global recognition. Hey guys, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And by the way, a Qari is somebody who recites the Quran in the proper way, following all the different rules of recitation. And this episode is going to contain people who are still with us, as well as those who have passed on. So let's jump into this episode. At number 10, we have Sheikh Abdul Basit Abdul Samad. Sheikh Abdul Basit Abdul Samad was from Egypt and he was one of the first reciters to make commercial recordings of his recitations of the Quran. He memorized the entire Quran by the age of 10 years old and by the age of 14, he learned 10 different styles of Quranic recitation. His rise to fame in Egypt spread across the Muslim world in a relatively short period of time and he is no longer with us unfortunately but his legacy does continue to live on because there are many Quran reciters today who are influenced by his style and in fact try to imitate his style. Moving on to number 9 we have Sheikh Saad al Shuraim. Sheikh Al Shuraim is from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and he's also one of the Imams of the Grand Mosque of Mecca, also known as Masjid Al Haram. He attended Imam Muhammad bin Saud Islamic University, where he graduated in the year 1988. And in the year 1995, he pursued a PhD in the Umm Al Qura University of Mecca. And he's a world-renowned reciter of the Quran, as well as he's a scholar. He has also written many different books on Islam, as well as Arabic poetry. Number eight brings us Sheikh Mohammed Siddiq al Mishawi. Sheikh al Mishawi was from Egypt as well, and he studied the rules of recitation under Sheikh Ibrahim al Suhudi. And that all started at a very young age. He became a household name across the Muslim world due to his style as well as he's the author of many books on various different topics of the Quran and he was also involved in printing Quranic text using calligraphy. Yeah, very talented man. Sheikh Saad al Gamdi comes next and he's from Dammam, Saudi Arabia and he obtained his bachelor's degree in Sharia from the Imam Mohammed bin Saad Islamic University. During Ramadan of 2009, he led the Taraweeh prayer in Al Masjid Ad Nabawi. He is considered to be one of the best reciters of the Quran today. Number six brings us Sheikh Mahir al Mawakli. Sheikh Mahir al Mawakli is from Medina, Saudi Arabia, and he's also one of the Imams of the Grand Mosque, also known as Masjid al Ram in Mecca. He was originally a math teacher, but Sheikh Mahir went back to Mecca to become a scholar and ended up attaining his master's degree as well as a PhD from the Umm al Qura University. Now, while he was in Mecca, he became a speaker as well as a preacher, and he leads Ramadan Tarari prayers in the Prophet's Mosque in Medina, as well as the Grand Mosque in Mecca. Halfway now, number five, well, we gotta look at Sheikh Abu Bakr al Shatri. Sheikh al Shatri is from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and he graduated in Quranic Studies and later completed his master's degree in accounting. Now, although he does specialize in accounting, he became very well known for his recitations of the Quran at international Islamic events across different parts of the Middle East. From there, we look at Sheikh Yasser al Dorsari at number four. Sheikh Yasser al Dusari is also from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I know a whole lot of them are from Saudi Arabia in this video. He had memorized the Quran at the age of 15 years old. And he graduated in the faculty of Sharia from Imam Muhammad bin Saud Islamic University. He attained his PhD from the same university as well. Sheikh Ali al Hudayfi is also from Saudi Arabia. And back in the year 1972, he graduated with a Bachelor of Law degree from the Imam Mohammed bin Saud Islamic University. And then in the year 1975, he received a master's degree in Islamic law from Al Azhar University and then moved on to his PhD from the same university. 
He was originally an Imam and a preacher at the Kuba Mosque. Then he became one of the Imams of the Al Masjid Al Nabawi. His style of reciting the Quran is done in a very slow and deep way and people all over the world recognize his distinct style. Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al Sudais is up next. Another reciter from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yep, you guessed it. He is one of the Imams of the Grand Mosque in Mecca and he's also the president of the General Presidency for the Affairs of the Two Holy Mosques. He memorized the Quran by the age of just 12 years old and he obtained a degree in Sharia from Riyadh University in the year 1983. His master's in Islamic fundamentals, he obtained that from the Sharia College of Imam Muhammad bin Saud Islamic University in the year 1987. Then in the year 1995, he received his PhD in Islamic Sharia from Umm al Qura University. So this guy is very educated, he's very learned, very talented. Now we end this episode off at number one. You guys probably guessed that he would be number one. You see his face everywhere. I'm sure even many non-Muslims recognize him, but his name is Sheikh Mishari Rashid al Faisi. Sheikh Mishari Rashid al Faisi is from Kuwait. Yes, not from Saudi Arabia. He's the Imam of the Masjid al Kabir or the Grand Mosque in Kuwait City and leads Tawari prayers in Ramadan every single year. He studied in the College of the Holy Quran and Islamic Studies at the Islamic University of Medina and specializes in the 10 readings and translations of the Quran. On top of that, he has been certified by a number of great scholars of the Quran and he appears often on TV and his recitations are enjoyed by people, specifically Muslims, all around the world. And there you have it guys, that concludes this episode. This was a look at 10 of the best Quran reciters. Let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with these picks or if there's any other reciters that you thought should have been on this list. Whatever you want to comment on, sound off down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give that like button some love and if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. We love to talk about the various different countries, cultures, religions, and people of our world. So if those topics are of interest to you, join the FTD Facts family and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.